This problem is called path sum and here we are given a binary tree and we have to check whether there is a path from root to its leaf nodes such that the sum of values equals a given value. So let's see the problem statement. So we are given this uh, root of the tree and we are also given one target sum and we have to find whether a path exists or not. So in this case the paths are you can take this path or you can take another path like this so uh, there will be as many paths as the number of leaf nodes so you start from the root and try to reach one of the leaf nodes so that will make a path and you cannot skip any nodes so you have to go through only left and right pointers are there in the node tree node so you have left pointer you have right pointer and then you have one integer value within this node so uh, let's see whether a path exists or not in this case. So let's say we are given this tree, binary tree. And the target value in this case is let's say 22. So if you see that if you come here, it's 5. So if you go from 5 to 8 and then to 20, you have reached a leaf node. So this is a path. What is the sum here? it's 33 so this path does not satisfy this property now let's take another path so we come along this 4 then so we start from root always 5 4 then 11 and then we go to 2 now what is the sum here 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 11 is 20 plus 2 is 22 so this is a valid path now once you find a path whose uh, sum of values is equal to the target, you need to return true. You don't need to traverse other paths in the tree. If you are exhausted with all the possibilities, you checked all the paths and you never found uh, any path with this target sum, then you return false. So you have to simply return true or false instead of returning the complete path. So let's see how we will do it. So we have some function, let's say uh, path sum and you are given a root and you are given a target value. So what you will first check if root is empty or the tree is empty then you return false. So these are the base cases. So if tree is empty you return false. Else you check if there is only a single node in the tree. In that case, left and right both will be null. So if roots left is null and roots right is null, then you check that the target should be same as roots value. If that is the case, it's true. So you can return this uh, conditional check if target if this is the case that is left and right both are null that is just one node in the root in the tree then target must be equal to whatever value this uh, tree contains so let's say there was a node with a value of 5 its left and right are null and the target was also 5 then this equality will return true but let's say if this value was 6 or any other value then it will return false so these are some of the base cases if that is not the case that means tree has more nodes so what you will do uh, you will try to find uh, if left is there so root left is not null not null then what you will do you will add whatever is the value so how we proceed so initially we call this function on root then there are more uh, children nodes so what you will do you have to include this value within the a given node whenever you reach any node you add that value so now initially the running sum or the sum we encountered so far was zero now you reach this root so you add its value to the sum so now sum is five so remaining uh, sum is so initially target was 22 now you come to root so remaining target root you have to include so the remaining value is 17 so from here in this 
subtree or this subtree, left subtree or right subtree, you have to find a path uh, whose sum is equal to 17 because 5 is already included. So what you will do, you will call this path sum function recursively on root left and the target new target will be target minus uh, roots value. So if this is true you can return from here if not you can check if right subtree exists or not right node exists or not then again you will call ps root right and again this same value target minus root value. So if either one of these is true the complete uh, value is true. So now let's write the function for this the code for this. Uh, so time complexity uh, in the worst case you may end up uh, traversing this complete tree so time complexity will be of the order of n space complexity since you are doing a recursive call here it may be a straight tree and this calls its left 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 so you may end up uh, storing all of these in the function stack and uh, so in that case a space would be o of n now let's write the code for this. So if root is null, return false. If root left is null and root right is null, return target sum is equal to roots value. This is the case where there is just one node. So uh, even if uh, we uh, make this recursive call, so ultimately let's say we reach here and we passed some target, updated target and here the target remaining was 2. So in this case also, so this is the case for a leaf node and not a single node if, if I confused you. Uh, so now let's continue. So otherwise we will have a bool uh, path sum exists equal to false and uh, if root left is there then path sum exists equal to has path sum root left target sum minus root well and same thing for right so if either it was found in the left or it's found in the right it will capture that value so finally we have to return path sum exists and let's run it so it's false let's see what is the mistake uh, it's fine Okay, so we did not change this and okay, now let's run it. Yeah, so this works. Let's submit the solution and the solution is accepted.